Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I uh, wanted to drop this uh, video uh, answer for uh, Shark Theater. Uh, been talking to him. He's building a, uh, he's building an SX500, and uh, he's had questions about which motor to go with. I think he's been looking at an Amazon kit. Uh, he's been asking about the 72 volt, 3000 watt motor, and uh, wondering if he should go with it. Uh, he's uh, he said he's five foot seven and uh, 130 pounds. Um, he said he wants good torque with speed. Uh, for that, uh, man, a, a 3072 volt, 3000 watt motor, you know, uh, here's your pros and cons, uh, Shark Theater. Uh, your motor is going to cost you more, um, your battery to uh, efficiently run that motor is going to cost you more and uh, the controller to run that motor uh, may or may not cost you more <clears throat> uh, if you get a 48 volt motor you can run it on 48 volts you can get a 48 volt battery you can get a 48 volt controller uh, you can get a 48 volt voltmeter you know instead of a 72 volt voltmeter uh, you know, so the uh, larger the voltage, the larger your pockets have to be. Uh, but if you can afford this kit and you like it, then there's nothing wrong with more power. Um, you, your size on the MX, or I'm sorry, SX500 with a 72 volt, 3000 watt setup, uh, that'd be a nice little uh, kicker, man. Uh, you definitely get around and uh, have some fun on it no doubt uh, but you could have probably just as much fun uh, with this 48 volt 2000 watt motor and say a 52 volt battery uh, you know you get a little bit more because I think they charge like 58 volts you know where a 48 volt battery I think charges the 54 you know so you get some some extra some extra voltage applied to that you know this is a 60 volt 3000 watt and this is a 48 volt 2000 watt uh, how do I know uh, because uh, some guy put a sticker on this one and he put a sticker on that one and he put them in the mail and mailed them from another country and uh, really I, I don't have um, I don't have uh, Machines and voltmeters and all that to test and apply voltage and find out what the current readings are on them and this and that. Uh, all I know is what's on that sticker and uh, how you know does it. My my 3,000 watt weighs a little bit more than my 2,000 watt, and my 2,000 watt weighs a little bit more than this 1,600 watt. You know uh, the windings, um, the windings in them are different and that the winding should be more it should be more compact in a higher wattage motor uh, this one is 2000 watt and it's rated at 42 amp because the sticker says so other than that I really don't know uh, but I'll tell you what though um, this I got I just got this in the mail yesterday I got off Ally Express it's a 48 volt 2000 watt 42 amp uh, it's rated at 4,500 RPMs at 48 volts. Uh, the last one I had was rated at 4,300 RPMs. I applied 84 volts to it, and I got 7,600 RPMs. Uh, and then with the current I was pushing to it, I think I ran it up to almost 10,000 watts. Uh, but it created a lot of heat, and it's not efficient you wouldn't be able to do it for a long period of time you know before you, you burn your motor up uh, you can ride around you know but you're not doing you're not going to be able to do 55 miles an hour for miles at a time you'll burn that up um, this one uh, 3000 watt uh, 72 volts at a 3000 watts um, you know you push you know I would say five to six thousand uh, watts and uh, it would probably run efficient uh, it get warm but uh, 
probably get you know average speed of uh, 48 50 miles an hour uh, efficiently this no efficiently you know 35 you know 40 miles an hour efficiently uh, 40 miles an hour I think is uh, what a 13 13 two sprocket on the motor and a 82 sprocket on the bike at uh, 4300 RPMs I think is 30 miles an hour 40 miles an hour 30 let's see I use a I use a gear ratio calculator uh, 4,500 RPMs, 1380, with a 14-inch tire is 30 miles an hour. So, uh, with uh, decent torque, you know, this 2,000 watt motor, 42 amps, you can run 60 through it. You can run 60 through it and and and, and be efficient uh, for for what we ride, you know. Um, so, you know, that motor. With uh, you know a, a decent controller and a, and a decent 52 volt battery and uh, that's not a bad setup, you know. So uh, and foot, you want the motor without the foot, Shark Theater. Uh, what it is is when you uh, put it in the bike, the foot comes up somewhere like at this weird angle and the tire will hit it. So you want the motor without the foot. Uh, if you can't find it, you can put the foot in a vise bend it back and forth, heat it up, and it'll snap off. It snaps off pretty clean. I mean, it leaves a scar, but it snaps off pretty clean from what I've seen the guys do it. I've never done it. Uh, I'm too vain. I don't want scars on my motor, so I'd look for, I'd look for motors without them. They're hard to find. Like this this 48 volt I just got, uh, it was $155 shipped to the door from uh, Ally Express. Took, uh, I, think, I think I got it in seven seven nine days i got it so shipping wasn't bad uh, but you're not going to find the ones without the foot on ebay you're not going to find them on amazon uh you may find a 72 volt on ebay 3000 watt for you know a, a ridiculous 250 dollars uh i think you can get the 72 volt on ally express for uh, uh like 170 maybe 180 uh, 155 for this one with uh, no foot uh, and that's shipped like FedEx I got that one shipped FedEx <laughs> you know shipping is ridiculous I mean I think it was I think it was like $60 for the motor and $80 for shipping you know that's ridiculous but still at, at the end of the day it's 155 and that's probably what I mean if you went on electric scooter parts that's what you'd pay uh, 154 for 1800 uh, watts so 149 you'd pay so that's not a bad price 155 uh, but, uh, yeah, so that's the answer to your question, Shark Theater. Uh, you don't want a foot, and, uh, at your, uh, height and weight, and, uh, you want speed and torque, uh, a 48 volt, uh, probably your solution. Uh, maybe you can get a bigger 52 volt battery, you know, save money not buying a 72 volt, then you can get a bigger 52 volt, you know, better quality. That's your money right there, man, is your, is your battery. So, uh. You know that let that be determined really about what motor you get you know at the end of the day uh it's going to determine what controller you get as well you know because that's that's your money that's your money right there um uh, so hope to answer your question talk to you later